What's going on folks, Dino G here and welcome back to another updated Hairs of God videos. This time I have a great news from the Hairs of God game developer. He recently announced the next summon skill for Hairs of God, which is a golem. Not just any golem, but an elemental golem. We have fire, lightings, and ice. Each golem will have their own unique property which includes skills, trigger, and possible aura effect as well. Based on the screenshot, the fire golem reminds me of the skills from the Diablo franchise, which is a necromancer fire golem skills. What is really more important about the new golem is that it belongs to the Magus skill tree and it scales really well with the support talent skill tree. So there will be a lot of synergy between both three and offer a better gaming experience for the Magus players. The game developer also posts several screenshots for the golem skill. The actual golem skill name is called Thirst and it expands into different multiple booster and passive skills such as Elders for 5 golems, Him Thirst for Ice golems, and Himmy Thirst for Highlighting golems. Now based on the screenshot, the third skill description said that you can improve the quality of the golem based on the quality of the gems, which means that there will be some boost effects based on the gem quality that you use to summon the golem. Now I'm pretty sure Ruby is used to craft the fire golems, Sapphire is used to craft the ice golem, and Topaz is used to craft the lightning golems. However, I don't see any information specifically on how much percent boost effect that we are going to get for the golem, but I'm pretty sure that the higher the quality gems, the better the boost effects. Additionally, I do want to talk about the effects for each golem. The Eldritch golem has area fire effects which deal fire damage over time. Judging on the screenshot, this passive skill does 276 fire damage per second and it lasts up to 2.8 seconds. Now that is as good as Scorch Aura and this passive skill is only level 9. If you think about this, you can see a huge synergy from pure Scorch Aura build plus the fire golem by running around the map and watch monster getting killed with aura. It's almost identical as aura from the Diablo. Hinters is a little bit different because it has a fast aura effect and it slowed down up to enemy at a lost radius. It also has chance to freeze enemy as well so I believe this golem will work perfectly with poison bill that requires time to do damage over time. However, the effect might be a little bit different than I initially thought based on the screenshot so I will have to see until the new internal patch came out. Lastly, we have Hinters which is the lighting golems. I know that there is plus AX number of spark with lighting damage scaling, so I can safely assume that this golem has a Tesla aura effects. There is no discussion on whether the golems have percent chance to cast Lotus Bar, so it might be an aura where the golem cast Lotus Bar every time it takes damage. On the other news, the game developer did mention that every single talent skill tree will have their own unique summon ability since we already have summon skills for exorcists such as Skeleton Warrior and Skeleton Mage and Last Riot for support skill tree, which is a better version of Diablo Pad and Conversions. For now, I'm still working on the build that utilizes the Last Riot skills and the new Magus summon ability might be the key to unlock its full potential. Well, that is pretty much for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I know this video is a little bit shorter, but I will fully cover the new Golem skills once I get my hand onto the new internal test version of the game. But hey, if you watched this video until the very end and enjoy this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to keep yourself updated with more Diablo-like content. This is Sanderchi once again, and I will see you all next time. Later!